Hey there, Site42 staff, Dr. Theron Sherman here, and today we'll be reacting to episode one of There Is No Anti-Memetics Division, a miniseries created by and directed by Andrea Joshua Aznikar, and hosted on his YouTube channel of the same name. Now, since I'm going to be reacting and commenting and pausing over this whole thing, make sure to head to his YouTube channel and watch the episode proper there first. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment saying that Dr. Sherman sent you. Don't worry, I'll wait. Hmm, containment breach in Sector 7G. Eh, that's something to worry about. Good! You're back! Excellent work, Agent. Now, let's get on to the video. The SCP Foundation is a top secret organization tasked with the containment of supernatural objects. Within the Foundation departments, the Anti-Memetics Division deals with anti-memes, which are essentially information black holes preventing any knowledge about them from being retained or communicated. Although someone at the Foundation would argue that. There is no anti-memetics division. Dun dun. Can I smoke? No, you... No, you can't smoke anywhere on Site 200. I've asked you that before, haven't I? Twice. In the last 15 minutes. Ah, oh, we're forgetting things early, all right. Marion, you can come through now. Marion Wheeler. All right, that's where we're starting this story, excellent. Just like we like our site directors. Incredibly handsome. So what's this about? All I got was a meeting invitation. No agenda or anything. I mean, I know if I says jump, you jump, but... Most of our meetings start like this. It's okay. I was just about to say the same thing. Yes, nutrient brick. God, that's the worst day at the commissary, I tell you what. Hell of a first day. Alistair Gray. With an E. I don't trust this rhyming man. Paul. Uh, are you the site director? You seem a little on edge, young man. That, uh, figures? <laughs> Show up on my first day and they drop an atom bomb on me. Turns out my whole life I have been protected from dangerous knowledge, from the truth about what is really out there. Like the entire outside world is a childcare center. What they showed me in there, how could any of that be real? The, the supernatural, it is meant to be fiction, and... You didn't answer my question. We all go through this you at orientation. You answer mine. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. I'm Paul, I'm from... I'm from... You used to speak four languages. One now, and soon, zero. I'm trusting the rhyming man the less. Apology, but there's too much world for one human race to ever understand. There's too much human race. We should bear it down. Are we getting SCP-5000 up Excuse in here? Excuse me, uh, j just for, for a moment. Hey, um, there's, there's an, uh, an intruder. Uh, I, I think it might be a, um... Oh, what do you call it? A, a, an SCP. Hey, doghead. Hello, um, intruder. 
SCP secure, contain, and protect the, the bad thing? No, there's, there's one right over there. Doc, come on. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. People, people, hey, look at me. Look at me. Hey, hey, guys, come on. First day and already getting anti-memed. Man, oh, man. No. No, 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 no. But yes. Harry and Wheeler. 49. Loving husband. Two boys. Full foundation credentials, which we never issued, including access to installations and rooms, which don't exist. Or do they? Yes, not yet. That's before we get to your access control lists. Which I can only term as a gracious. She's a spy. Let's get this over with. Oh, you dullard. I'm your chief of anti-memetics. We don't have an anti-memetics division. They yeah, always say the that. Division. The telecontainment division. Ops A, Ops B. Personnel, D personnel. Two dozen others. But. We don't have an anti-emetic division. Do we have an irony division? No? All right. I'll have to check. We'll try this. Why do you think the anti-memetics division would show up in the listing? It's a division of the forgotten. There are SCPs that get into your mind and infect other minds. Contagious concepts that require containment like any physical threat. Secure, contain, protect. Right. Then, there are the other ones. Entities and phenomena that harvest and consume information, particularly about themselves. Ideas that consume other ideas. That eat segments of reality. That was such a good acting moment. I'll talk about it later. Do you get it yet? There aren't any dangerous SCPs on this site, so either you're not dangerous or nobody knows you exist. You're either brand new or... You seem on edge. What's an anti meme Hell of a first day. <laughs> By the way, both these settings are shot and so beautifully, and they look so good. The colors. Ah, the framing. Also, scary James Marston is freaking me out. How come I can't move my face? Ooh, it's spreading. <laughs> Search anti-memetic tags. Here, SCP-4739. If you're reading this, you've already been isolated from the Foundation at large. Attempts to signal for help are futile. You are now inside 4739's gullet. You need to get to lab S-41. Continue the research until you find a way to stop or kill Gray before he kills you. 4739, let's look that up when this is done. <laughs> Interesting. Young man. So, disgusting, decrepit, disorganized. A standard research lab. 4739 is a powerful, slow-acting, anti-memetic kill agent. It isolates its victim from the outside world by making it impossible to be perceived or remembered. The SCP log that you are currently listening to is created and maintained by victims of SCP-4739 because it is only audible to victims of SCP-4739. Familiarize 
yourself with the existing research and continue until you find a way to contain or decommission the SCP. Or more likely, die. SCP-4739 has consumed 79 researchers so far. That was the first day. Add yourself to the next log. You look good, Lenny. Based on the research, nothing works. People have tried to engage with him physically and kill him using weapons. It doesn't work. They have tried feeding him memories to overload him. It doesn't work. They've, they've tried sacrificing other people to save themselves. It doesn't work. So that's it. I'm fucked. We've all had to come to terms with that they once in a while. This knowledge. Sometimes we the make it out okay. The is constantly eating itself. These are class W nestics, the weakest type, suitable for continual use. One pill per day. What Tastes like strawberry. Yourself? You do. You forgot to take a pill, and then you forgot all the information that the pills were helping you to retain. You forgot about me and my entire department. How many other anti-memes are there? Ten that I know of. Probably at least five more. Two in this room at this very moment. Don't bother looking. It's pointless. There's one right here. It's like a demanding pet that eats my memories instead of food. But I've learned to control it. Where's the other one? I remember that from the tale. You can't skip a dose of Nestic. You can't forget to take a pill unless someone prevents you actively from taking it. Get back on track. As ever, the search for stalemate continues. I'll let you know if we get any closer. We got a plan. A solid block of information. It's gotta be something new. Hell of a first day. Last chance, Paul. Last chance. An info weapon. Hell of a first day. You seem on edge, young man. Hell of a first day. Whoa, oh, talk about a hard drive. Did you just beat the hell out of him? It was chewing its way up the anti mimetics division hierarchy. Congratulations on demonstrating a basic level of competency where dozens of others couldn't. I want to say it was dumb luck. I want to say I threw my phone and realized information hurt him. It was my first day and I got lucky as hell. I want to say those things, but none of them would be true, would they? This isn't my first day. I've probably been working here for for what, 10 years? Instinct and muscle memory are just deep forms of training. The ability to piece your life back together and all your past knowledge, that's what we drill into you. This isn't the first time you've seen me put myself back together, is it? 
and it ain't gotten old yet. Even going through basic amnestic treatment can give you a hell of a hangover. Whew. So what now? I need you to update everything you know about Gray and his predatory patterns. I need countermeasures for when it comes back. So it's not dead? Wait, I know this one. Ideas don't die. That was so sick! Ah, so cool! Ah. Let the credits run, let the credits run. Give the people their props. Give the people their props. Oh, man. All right, well, that's running. Let me look up 4739. That's not right. Ah, we love that creative commons at the end. We love it when all our creators keep things above board. All right, so 4739 is not Alistair Gray. It's just spoiled milk, I promise. By, ah, Rock Teeth Moth Eyes, good author. Uh, January 18th, 2019, specialized locker, 3.8 liter container of 2% milk, expiration date is December 31st, 2018. Okay, so this is not the Canon 4739, is it? Testing chamber, gunshot, what? What does it do? If you try to open it, it will react violently, inflicting harm upon the handler. Um. So, okay, so the wiki's 4739 is not what we're dealing with here. But if I go to Introductory Antimimetics, which is a tale on the wiki by Quantum, then we get Junior Researcher Kim, we get All the Hell of a First Day, Alistair Gray with an E. Okay, so we're taking the uh, lovely quotes here. Uh, very good, going down. Spoke four languages. One now, and soon zero. Woo! That's nasty. Good stuff. Excellent adaptation. Do 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 do. Unlocking the terminal. I'm fucked. Excellent. Scrolls again. Hard drives. Okay, so this is a very lovely and close to almost word to word version of this article. And of course, we gotta go to... Yep, we need to talk about 55, is the second tale that we're quoting here with Marion and 058. And when I said wonderful acting choice earlier, it's because when Marion was standing with her back to the mirror talking about anti-meme, she said, yes, we have multiple anomalies that handle X, Y, and Z, and the other ones. And when she said the other ones, she looked at the other guy knowingly. And so that was really funny. I knew that that's what they were going for, and that was a great little acting choice. Uh, whether that was her or Andrea directing that, most cool, most cool. This was gorgeous. I mean, it looked beautiful throughout. The different color palettes for the A and the B plot, both of them had a great tension, although, you know, it's a short, and it's two stories in one, so it's two shorts in a short. And bouncing back and forth, the tension was able to keep going. The music and sound did a really good job of keeping that going too. But the chase for Paul, uh, the conversation where Marion's forgotten and she needs to convince the 058 of what's going on, that was so good. I love to see it. I love to see good art in the SCP Foundation universe. I want to see more of it. So after this, 
We're going to go right into the next episode. Make sure that you're supporting Andrea over on his YouTube channel. Like, comment, and share all that. Make sure that he gets the support needed to keep making more of this stuff. Thank you guys, Site42 staff. This has been an amazing episode one. I'm very much looking forward to the rest, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.